Welcome, I'm LaVon Roberson for the Bookish Report here at What's the 411 talking about everything bookish. Tonight I'll be talking about how middle school students and high school students can write a book. That's right, use their summer vacation and online summer camp to write a book. And talking with me today about that is my guest, Andrew Morrison. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for having me. So it's really exciting about students, middle school students and high school students writing a book for their summer vacation. But before we get into that exciting news and happening, let's talk a little bit about what's Mentoring in Medicine, your chief operating officer there. So tell me about why Mentoring in Medicine, how it happened. Sure, and so Mentoring in Medicine is a national nonprofit. We started approximately 10 years ago. And over the past 10 years, we've helped 500 low-income students become doctors. We have programs from second grade all the way up, up to college. And we really believe that the summer is a time for you not only to relax, but also a time for you to learn and, and additionally grow as well. And so we began this program to help young people find their own creativity and express their creativity through a book. That's really exciting. Now, you know with the Bookish Report, I'm usually talking with authors, so I'm looking forward to your student authors. When is it going to happen? Tell me a little bit about what is the process of writing a book for the summer? Uh, sure, and so um, we're doing it online. Uh, we really believe that the, the most effective way to reach young kids is actually uh, with technology. And so every Tuesday night at approximately 7.30, uh, we'll have students all across the country, even all across the world, uh, we have programs where kids from Haiti to Africa have been able to engage us online and we'll walk them through step-by-step -step process on how to take the creativity, how to package it into a book in a very easy way. Many people are very fearful of writing. I don't enjoy writing. We show you how to actually speak your book, how to transcribe that content, and how to be able to interview um, various celebrities and also healthcare professionals to be able to create the content that's very compelling. That sounds great. So let's start from this part. I see, I go to medicalmentor.org. I will see the link to click on to, to register for Write Your Book Summer Online Camp. Right. I got it right? Yes. And absolutely. then what happens? Give me a sample of how I would write my book. What's the best sample that you can give about to you know easy for people to wrap their arms around to get that writing started sure and so as soon as you register at www.medicalmentor.org you'll receive an email from us via our order responder and you will receive a special login for you to be able to access our live webinar that will be every tuesday night during the month of july once you receive that i'll start giving you videos offering you a step-by-step -step plan on how to begin writing your book the best way to start writing your book is to first look at what a running story is. What are some of the stories that are actually in the news right now that you can connect to your book? We want to focus on health and science um, related topics and one of the young people talking about some of the issues that impact the health in their community and also take a look at some of the health related careers that they're interested in. And so a young person out there may want to become a surgeon. And so your book could be a teen's guide to becoming a surgeon. That's great. So maybe one example would be I want to write, I want to be a surgeon, right. so I want to write my book about how to be a surgeon, so maybe the easiest example for writing a book is to interview surgeons? Exactly. So an interview book. Right, exactly. That so, sounds doable. Uh, that's, a, that's actually the first uh, template you show people, right. how they can actually go out there, they can, we also have resources of health professionals that can also interview, we want to empower young people to be able to go online, find individuals, we give them a script, and convince them to engage in a half an hour interview. So if you're able to have three different health professionals speak for a half an hour each, that's basically 90 minutes that could actually easily be an 80 page book. And an so, 80 page book, right. how easy is that? Exactly. You can write your book, according to Andrew Morrison of Mentoring in Medicine, you'll actually get templates. So one template is the interview book. So you talk to surgeons or cardiologists or any other health professional, nurse, pediatric doctor, how about a podiatrist? Pretty you want to well. work with feet? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Or a dentist? Right. Okay. So you would interview the dentist or the surgeon or the cardiologist. You do that three times because according to Mr. Morrison, three times 30 minutes, that's the equivalent of 90 minutes, which is the equivalent of 80 page about 80 pages. You've right. done an 80 page 
book. Right. So you tune in, so to speak, to the webinar four times in July? Yes. What are the dates again? Yes. And so it's a Tuesdays in July. And so every Tuesday in July, uh, we'll be using the Zoom technology. And so you'll be able to see myself and also other authors as well, kind of giving you a blueprint. And what we discovered as well is we help people understand that there's always a, a, a story within a story. And we show them how to print chapter headlines. Also a great book they can also write is a tips book. And so you can have 101 um, tips when it comes to creating your dream life or oh, becoming a, great a health one. professional. That's a great one. So the interview book, yes. we talked about that. Right. And now the tips book. It's a tips book, right. That's right. a great right. one. Right. So the top 10 tips for becoming a cardiologist, the heart doctor. Right. right. The top 10 tips for how to become a nurse. This is really wonderful. I'm loving this. Maybe I'll actually finally write a book. You may join us as well. I can. Uh, we focus on middle school and high school students. We have a number of parents as well who get involved in the process. That's great. So for all of you parents out there and grandparents and educators, you may be wondering, you know what? My student, my granddaughter, my grandson, they already spend so much darn time online. What's this about? I don't want them to be online. What do you say to them? Well, I would say it's not so much about being online or not being online, it's about how they're spending their time. And so uh, we give them uh, engaging activities. And so now they're going to spend more time online, but they go from being a curator to seeing what's online to telling their friends to being a creator. And by being a creator, I think they'll be a lot more fulfilled. I love that. So be a creator. Create a book during the summer vacation. Let's talk a little bit about summer vacation. Now, when I was growing up, I don't know about you, summer vacation was a time to really take it easy, to lounge. Now, I came from a family where I couldn't afford not to work, but I didn't choose anything that was too taxing, so I got to relax for the summer. So why not just take it easy for the summer? What's wrong well, with that? Um, you get to do both. Uh, you can take it easy, and you can also learn as well. And you can also prevent what they call this summer slide, where many students uh, lose almost 20% of what they learn during the academic year. So you want to kind of begin to engage your brain. And you also want to use the summer to become a more competitive uh, college applicant. And so by you having a book that really separates you from the competition. That's really great. Now I've worked on some college admissions boards myself for my college and other colleges. And I know that that book could make the difference between your getting into college and not. It's very impressive. Exactly. And you know, many people are asking you, well, what did you do for your summer? And so your friends may come back and say, well, I went on vacation. But now you can say, here's the book that I wrote. And with those easy templates and with your mentoring online, it sounds like an easy to do. And then also the biggest benefit, too, for a young person that you get to make some money. Now, yeah. that's why I, it would work for me, because when I was a, a youngster, we had to have my salary for the summer. So tell me a little bit about how creating your own book, having it published through mentoring in medicine is actually a way for you to get some summer money too. Exactly. Uh, you're not simply writing a book, you're also going to be selling your book Yay. as well. And so we'll be working with Amazon.com, their website called GreatSpace.com. We also will be showing you how to create your own PDF, how to create your own website. We'll also show you how to create your own YouTube channel. And so you'll be out there marketing your book. And then in October, we'll have a book launch party. Wow. Where all of our young authors will be coming together and showcasing uh, their books. That's terrific. And again, as a former college um, admissions person who helped make decisions about who got accepted to the college or who could move on to the next interview stage, I know that would be so impressive. Tell me a little bit more about the making the money part. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, uh, you know, that's what many kids uh, really enjoy. I uh, tell me, you first have to get permission uh, from your parents, and we first show them how to open a PayPal.com uh, account. It's amazing how many people don't know about PayPal.com. This is a way for you to be able to receive uh, money online. Uh, the great thing about our uh, presence online as well is that there are many adults will actually like to purchase these books. Yeah. And so once these books are created, we'll uh, create a special website, we'll send out a press release, and now we have people oh, wow. all, all around the world will be coming to the special website to be able to, to buy your books. That's pretty exciting. But it's also about the bottom line. Right. Show me the money. Show me the money. Those right. Benjamins. Right. That right. sounds great. And right. all from on during summer vacation. Yeah. That's great. So tell me a little bit more about mentoring in medicine and medical professionals who help support the young students. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, we're very fortunate to have uh, well over 500 health professionals on our database who actively work in our programs. Uh, we bring uh, work-based learning activities to um, high schools 
and middle schools are actually all across the country. We will do work from uh, California all the way here to New York. And these health professionals are individuals who look like the young kids who are in the school that can kind of really relate to them, um, you know, uh, coming from a disadvantaged background. And the young person now sees someone doing something that they always dreamt about doing. Yeah. And it's a far more likely that they'll be able to reach their goals. That's great. Traditional light bulbs actually generate nine times more heat than light. Switch to energy saving bulbs. Saving energy saves you money. Thanks so much for staying with us. We're going to be talking about um, what is in it for parents. I'm talking to Andrew Morrison of Mentoring in Medicine. Before we talked about how the young people, the middle school students and high school students would be writing their book during their summer vacation. Now we're going to focus on the parents and educators. What can they do to be part of this creating and writing a book for the summer? So Andrew, give us the works. Well, uh, our research has proven that parents are the number one influencer on a child's career decision. And so what we're going to do is get the parents involved early in this process. Uh, we send an email both to the parents and also young person. Because what's amazing is that um, the parent may have a schedule for a young person during the summer. But once a young person starts writing a book, things begin to change. And they start to spend more time writing the book, developing their website, creating their YouTube video. And also we discovered that parents get excited about writing their book as well. And so we tell parents that as you begin to grow, your child also grows naturally as well. So the parents should register too? Yes, absolutely. So can you let us know how that happens again? Where are parents and educators going? And so at the same website, which is medicalmentor.org, yes, medicalmentor.org, you'll be able to sign up as a parent. And we'll be sending information to parents and educators because there are many summer camps that are going on throughout the summer, and many educators are actually taking our content into the summer camp as well. This is a free program. And we do this program for free, really because there are many low-income students who can't afford some of these more expensive summer programs. And here's a way to kind of keep them off the streets, quote-unquote, and get them engaged in something that's very productive. I'm loving it. So parents and educators uh, with middle school and high school um, students know that you can register as well. You can see what's going on for your student, and you may decide that you want to be part of it too. Uh, so, I mean, uh, we also have some students who actually go back to their schools and they become the experts when it comes to creating a YouTube channel, when it comes to writing a book, when it comes to developing a website. And so teachers have discovered, wow, you know, this child is now showcasing skill sets I never thought they had. And this is why these hands-on programs where you're a creator is a chance to engage in what they call project-based learning. And many kinesthetic learners, many um, low-income students actually now have a chance to be able to express their creativity. That's really exciting. You also were talking with me before we came on camera about the range of skills. So there's YouTube, there's writing, there's interviewing, there's actually researching because you can find the cardiologist, the surgeon, or the dentist that you want to interview in addition to what mentoring in medicine may be able to supply in terms of a, a professional. There's also creative design because you have to create the design for your book cover and talk some more about that because that's really exciting. That's exactly what students may not even be aware of, nor their parents. Look at the range of skills building that's done in a fun way for summer vacation. So talk a little bit about the creative because somebody may be sitting there saying, I'm not a writer. Right. I'm not, you know, that's just not my thing. I'm not good at researching, but maybe there's something for you in creative. Well, uh, this this to me was so wonderful about the program is that it's not so much about you being good at one thing. It's about you having a passion to create something. And the most invaluable skill we actually share is team building. Mm -hmm. You know, it was George Frazier, Power Network, who said that it takes uh, teamwork to make the dream work. Mm -hmm. And so if you look at school, you know, school, you have to study and take a test all by yourself. In life, you work in teams. And so we help students develop these um, skills around group dynamics, skills around conflict resolution. And what happens is they go to their best friends. And their best friends who used to simply play Fortnite and other video games online, now they can begin to recruit them because they know a best friend who's great with the camera. Uh, they know a best friend who's good in front of the camera. They know a best friend who loves to draw. And so we empower these students to look at their friends differently and really begin to draw out their unique skill sets. So all you really need is the passion and desire, and we'll give you the tools to make it happen. That's amazing. And so I'm hoping that the middle school and high school students 
and their parents and educators who work with the students are getting a real good idea about how summer vacation can be used online with the, what's it called? How to Write Your Book Online Summer Camp. Right. Did I get that right? Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> okay, so let's talk a little bit more about something that I'm hearing a theme of, and that's entrepreneur. So you may not be a writer, great writer, researcher, creative design person, somebody who can pitch on the phone to get people involved, interviewer, but maybe you're a great entrepreneur. Maybe you're really good at selling that video, selling your book that you published. Talk a little bit about that because you're a serial entrepreneur, aren't you? <laughs> right. You right. started when you were in your 20s, I believe, <laughs> right. if not before. Right. And, um, you know, uh, you know, people think entrepreneurs are lone rangers. They think entrepreneurs just take these wild risks. But the, we're not doing that. Uh, we're actually really good at managing that risk. <laughs> what I'm saying to you is no cost to join this program at medicalmentor.org. And your only cost is really uh, your time. And once you invest your time, what happens is now you're part of a community. It's not just simply you writing a book. You'll be able to connect with other people all around the world who are also going through the exact same process. And as you begin to connect with individuals doing something wonderful, you just can't. You can't help but also be able to express your unique, your unique creativity. And well. I love how you said you're investing your time. Because summer slide is just the opposite. It's a time in the summer, summer slide, when you're doing nothing. You're not investing in anything. You're wasting time. <laughs> And summertime is a good time to have a purpose. And that may be something I know when I was growing up in my community, a person of color, summer was not seen as a time where you were investing in your growth and in the development of new skills. But we're here to tell you, thank you, Mentoring in Medicine, that summer is a great time for you to stop summer slide and to look at summer purpose. And maybe this is the summer you, your parents, educators in your life, middle school student and high school students may decide you want to write that book. And it's online and it's a summer camp. And, and keep in mind that uh, this is going to be fun, <laughs> okay? Um, I like to dance. I think I do the best Millie Rock out there. And I'll be challenging some of the teens out there who like to dance. Okay, let me see. Well, no, not right now. Okay? <laughs> but here's the point. Uh, the point is, is that um, your passion will make room for you, all right? And so oh, I if, love that. if you like to do the Millie Rock, well, guess what? Let's still do a book on how to become a surgeon, but you'll be creating a video promoting a book where you're doing the Millie Rock. That's so right. this is going to be fun, whatever your passion is, oh whatever God. you enjoy doing. If you enjoy drawing, as you mentioned, if you enjoy playing video games, well, guess what? You could do a voiceover on a video game talking about this book concept. Oh, I love that. And they're going to have the students and the parents and the educators are going to have access to an entrepreneur like you who can actually guide them through this process. Right. And, and I, I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad you mentioned that because um, many people don't start something because they don't see themselves finishing it. All right, and now you have the opportunity to work with somebody who's finished, um, who's helped uh, thousands of people actually finish something. And that would be you. Produce a book, I I exactly. <laughs> um, I tell people that the word sensei doesn't mean karate instructor. The word sensei means somebody who's going ahead of you. Mm. And so I love all my young people to find somebody who's going ahead of you. And this person isn't smarter than you. This person isn't better than you. They have some experiences that they want to help you have similar experiences when it comes to being able to bring forth what is already inside of you. And you're also doing something else. So every Tuesday in July, for those four Tuesdays in July, you're going to be having the Write Your Own Book Summer Online Camp. <laughs> Something like that. Just go to medicalmentor.org and you'll be able to find That's it. That's right. www.medicalmentor.org. Now, you're also doing something about live seminars. Are you thinking about doing that on a day-to-day -day basis or uh, what? Yes. Um, I, I have a lot of uh, interest from uh, you know parents and really mostly um, grandparents as well. Can you give my young kid, you know, my child something to do during the summer? And so every day um, I'll be uh, having a live um, webinar. So once you uh, register at medicalmentor.org, you'll be able to, you know, get the URL to kind of hear me encourage you every day. Because, you know, oftentimes um, I can kind of show you the way, but you also need motivation. Uh, to stay on track and so even though we have the Tuesday night calls every single day I'd like you to be able to spend 15 minutes with me or so motivating you to complete the next next task. Thank you and how good is that and it's all for free thanks to Mentoring in Medicine folks Andrew Morrison and uh, Lynn Holden who is an emergency medicine specialist 
uh, here in New York City. So you're gonna have them and a team of folks to support you through this process. You're gonna make sure that your summer is a summer of purpose where you write your own book online. How good is that? There you go. All right. All right. A pleasure to have you. Thank you Thanks so much. Thanks so much for joining me. And I can hardly wait maybe to have some of those student authors come here on the Bookish Report. Absolutely. Tell us what's yeah. going on. And, uh, and, and this will be the, the, the beginning because uh, 10, 20 years from now, they'll be winning a major book award and they'll <laughs> say thanks to you. Uh, you brought this concept to them. So thank you so much for having us on your show. Absolutely. It was a pleasure to have you and look forward to having you again. Maybe we'll be at that launch party in October or so. Great. Yeah. Sounds good to me. That's it for the Bookish Report at What's the 411. Thank you so much for joining me, LaVon Roberson. And until next time, happy reading.